Chemistry, Mrs. KJ here going over 2.03 Atomic Math. So yes, there is a lot of math in chemistry and part of the reason for that is to better understand how things work in chemistry, you need to understand the math behind it. So this lesson is pretty straightforward in that you are basically working on the math. Now, this is the kind of thing where you could start to do it kind of mindlessly you know, just kind of like, oh, yeah, 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 and not thinking. But I purposefully chose the first 20 elements to go over because those are the ones that we use the most often in chemistry. And I want you to start thinking of them and think about what you're putting down for answers, okay? All right, so atomic number is what? What can you tell me about the atomic number? Is it the smaller number or the larger number? It's the smaller number on the periodic table. And you don't want to say that it's the top number because on some versions of the periodic table, it's actually off to the side. So it's the smaller number. It's always what? The whole number or the decimal number? It's always a whole number. And what does it tell you? It tells the number of protons in the atom. If the atom is neutral, it also tells the number of what? Electrons. But the number of electrons can change, which is why technically it just tells you the number of protons. Because we can have more or less electrons, and we're going to talk about that later. Make sure you write this down, because I am going to delete this before I give you your worksheet. All right, what about the atomic mass or the atomic mass number? What is that? That is simply the mass of the atom. Or you can think of it as how heavy it is in AMUs. What does AMU stand for again? Atomic mass units. And how do we find how heavy the atom is? Well, let's think about our parts. We have protons, electrons, and neutrons. How much does each proton weigh? One AMU. So each proton has a mass of 1 AMU. What about electrons? Each electron has a mass of 0. Yes, it technically does have a mass, but remember it's so tiny. It's like if you weighed yourself and pulled out one hair and weighed yourself again, the scale would say you weighed the same. Same thing with atoms. When we're measuring them in AMUs, the electrons are so tiny we can ignore them, which is good because they get added and lost a lot. All right, so each proton has a mass of 1 AMU. Each electron has a mass of 0 AMU. And each neutron has a mass of what? Has a mass of 1 AMU. Therefore, the mass number equals the number of protons, and yes, the hashtag actually means number. Also, if you're in music, it means the sharp sign. So, number of protons plus the number of neutrons. All right. So, to find that information, we look at the periodic table. So, our first element here is H. What's the name for H? Hydrogen. What is the mass number? Well, it's 1.0079. One However, we are going to round it to the nearest whole number. So rules for rounding. We look one place value to the right. Does the zero make the one round up or round down? It rounds down or stays the same. So we'll say the mass number is one. The atomic number is one. And that atomic number tells me what other number? Neutrons, protons, or electrons? It tells me the number of protons, and we're going to assume that the atom is neutral when we start. So what else does it tell us? The number of electrons. Now to find the number of neutrons, we have to algebraically rearrange this equation. So we can say the number of neutrons equals what? The mass number minus the atomic number or the mass number minus the number of protons. Either way, because they're the same thing. So 1 minus 1 equals 0. Hydrogen does not have any neutrons. All right, let's go ahead and do Li next. So Li is what element? 
lithium. The mass number is 6.941. We want to round it to the nearest whole number. So we only look at the number that is one place value to the right. So we're rounding to the nearest whole number. Does the 9 make it round up or stay the same? Now, if rounding kind of confuses you, think about money. Pretend that this is money. If I have $6.94, is that almost $6 or almost $7? Well, now you can easily see that. Oh, yeah, that's almost $7, right? So if you're doing rounding and you get confused, just put a dollar sign in front and think of, okay, hydrogen. Is it closer to $1 or $2? Mm, $1. If I have $6.94, I almost have $7, so it rounds up. And what's the atomic number of lithium? It is 3, which also tells me what other number is 3. The atomic number tells me I have 3 protons. And when neutral, I'm going to add that up here. When the atom is neutral, it also has 3 electrons. How do I find the number of neutrons? Well, the whole thing weighs 7. And... If we think, say it in pounds instead of AMU, if the whole thing weighs seven pounds, I have three pounds worth of protons. How many pounds worth of neutrons? Seven minus three is four. But of course, we don't measure in pounds. What do we measure in? We measure in AMUs. Okay, so that is it for this one. Use your periodic table. Yes, you can use your periodic table on all tests and quizzes. And I'm going to delete a few things out of here for your worksheet for you to fill in and go ahead and fill in the rest. Now, again, I know it would be really easy for you to do three of them and say like, oh, yeah, I know this. No big deal. At least go through and do the names of them because you have to start getting used to what they're called, especially the first 20. Do the mass number, an atomic number, number of neutrons. Okay, just to get in that habit, especially if you know protons are the same as the atomic number. So obviously I would like you to do all of it, but that would be like a minimum. So if you do all the way to carbon and you've got them all perfectly right, then you can go a little bit faster through the rest. Okay, so I would suggest doing about five, I'll do down to carbon. Do down to carbon, check your answers, and then do the rest. Because I'd hate for you to do the whole worksheet and be doing it wrong. So do to carbon, check your answers. So here, we'll write this. After this row, check your answers, and then go ahead with the rest. Okay, that's it for this one. Pretty straightforward, but it's something you're going to need to know for the rest of the year, which is why I'm trying to take this a little bit at a time here. So, okay, have fun. If you need help, let me know.